This is Dr. David Chow. I've been asked to give some of my personal insights and experiences with Katsu. Actually, I've been familiar with Katsu from the early versions when it wasn't the pressure cuffs and they were really simple bands. So it's been over 10 years of experience. And uh, what made me really jump on board now thinking that this is the right thing is the, the bands that actually measure pressure and it has become much more scientific than the old school um, weightlifters that just tie a rubber band around their arms. And I think this is what gives us some control and medical safety in terms of what's going on. All I can relate to you is my personal experience. I've actually been using it on my patients for a while now in conjunction with physical therapists. And I think there's some good uh, uses for it. But the most important thing I think anytime we jump into any sort of medical treatment or device is safety. And I can tell you that I looked at it with a critical eye to start with too in terms of safety and played around with it. And I actually feel like there really are really no safety concerns if you're doing it on an, on an awake, sensate, neurologically normal patient. Even on a neurologically abnormal patient, I think there are ways to make it safe. But very simply, on a uh, normal patient with, who can feel pain, I don't see how this is going to be unsafe at all. And I, there's a couple reasons behind it. First of all, as an orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine guy, we all know tourniquets are safe for up to two continuous hours with no problem whatsoever. And although katsu is actually not a tourniquet, and I may demo that for you in a different little quick scenario, it is actually not a tourniquet, but it actually makes it much safer than a tourniquet. So if we just go the next level up and say, what is tourniquet safety, even though katsu is not as dangerous as a tourniquet, what is tourniquet safety? Under two hours continuous use is what we do in surgery all the time, and we don't report any problems, and it's done hundreds of thousands of times every month in orthopedic surgery all across the country. So that's sort of my barometer as to the baseline safety and why I'm not worried about it. The second concept is that katsu, uh, although it's not a tourniquet, and we can show you in a minute with the pulse ox and, and so forth, which is why I'm dressed casually in a t-shirt, that it does not actually cut off blood flow. It modifies it. But the best safety feedback loop, first of all, there's a protocol of using katsu cycle and then gradually increasing on the pressures. Uh, and so there's a tolerance and buildup. Just like you don't go out and run a marathon the first time, you're probably gonna hurt yourself. You start a jogging program, a walking program, jogging program, build up. Same with katsu, that adds to the safety. The other thing about katsu in terms of safety is that you do feel it. Patience, and you can try it yourself, you feel the burn and the pain. If the pressure is too high, you, the first time user cannot use it at the same pressures that I'm, I'll show you later. Uh, there's too much tingling in your hand and burn and pain. Uh, now remember, also going back to the surgical analogy, why don't we just do all knee scopes with a thigh tourniquet or all uh, wrist surgery with an arm uh, tourniquet and, and, uh, and, and uh, under local and so forth. The problem is that once you put a tourniquet on for 10 minutes, you know, in an awake patient, they can't stand the pain anymore if you do a high pressure tourniquet. So there's a loop feedback there that happens. Same thing with katsu. The patient or your, whoever you're rehabbing will feel the burn and say, I, I need to take it off well before any damage. In addition, if you go by usages, Katsu has had millions of different users and no reported problems whatsoever. And there is something unique to the design of the bands being thinner that actually makes it safer. Um, I think we'll go into that in the next little segment, but that's the basics of Katsu safety. It's safer than a tourniquet, and we know tourniquets are safe. And as long as you start off using it on a, Greg, the extra level of security is to kind of ramp up on the usage and using it in a sensate normal patient. And with that, I really don't have any worries about katsu and its uh, safety. There have not been, because it's short-term usage like this, 
There have been not any reports of blood clots or anything like that. Of course, if you have uh, a patient with a known thrombus or embolus in their leg or DVT or something, I think you need to use more caution uh, just to be extra safe. But report-wise, that has not been an issue uh, either. So that's a basic safety uh, profile, what I think about Katsu. And next we can show you some usages and why I think these bands are safer than what's out there and won't cause any nerve problems, uh, etc.